Hi, and welcome to Kepler Wallet. In today's brief tutorial, we're gonna be doing an overview of the Kepler extension. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and open up Kepler Wallet. This tutorial will be organized into three sections, the main wallet interface, the profile section on the right, and the menu bar on the left. Right away, you'll see the chain name up top. And if you'd like to switch between chains, you click on the chain name and select the chain of your choice. When you sign up for Kepler Wallet, you're given a wallet address for all of the integrated chains. So the Interchain UX is quite easy and something that we're really proud of. The main interface will show you your balance, the deposit and send buttons, so pretty straightforward. And then underneath, you'll see a bit of a staking section. You can claim your rewards directly from the interface, or you can click on stake. Stake will actually take you to the Kepler dashboard, which is another powerful tool that comes with your Kepler wallet. From there, you can stake, manage your delegations, see transaction history. There's quite a number of fun things you can do there, so make sure you check it out. Next, let's quickly go over the profile section. So when you click on the profile icon, you're gonna see your live account labeled as selected and any other accounts that you've imported into this particular interface. You can click on add account to import additional accounts. When you click on the three dots, you'll see some options to view your master key, change your account name, or to delete the account from this interface. So a quick note when viewing the master key is that when you sign in with a third party such as Google, you're gonna see a private key. Otherwise, you'll see a mnemonic seed phrase. Now we're gonna cover the menu bar. When you click on the menu bar, you're gonna see the address book, settings, and an option to sign out. Kepler Wallet is completely open sourced, so you'll also see a link to view the source code on GitHub if you'd like. The address book is pretty straightforward. Um, you'll be able to save the name, the address, um, also the memo if you'd like. Just keep in mind that these are unique to the interface connected to your browser, so they do not carry over when you import to another device. Also in the menu bar is the settings menu, and this is what we're gonna cover a bit more. So you can switch between languages here. You can switch between the currency that your balance is shown in. And this one's pretty important. You can actually manage connections here. You can check per chain which websites are currently connected to your wallet and disconnect as needed. Next, you'll be able to easily sync your Kepler extension with your Kepler mobile by signing in and scanning the QR code. The auto lock timer is a safety feature that once activated will lock Kepler wallet after the designated time and also any time after your device goes to sleep. Here I've set mine for five minutes. The next item is an advanced feature and it allows you to toggle the IBC transfer module to the main interface. If you'd like to know more about IBC transfers, we have a separate guide for that dedicated to IBC. Endpoints is also another advanced feature. Kepler operates nodes for each natively integrated chain and these are set as default, but users are welcome to customize to the nodes of their preference. Last, Kepler would not be in operation without the supportive efforts of the Interchain community. You can click on special thanks to view these members. 